So we move away from Kempton and the graded events to a three mile one handicap here at Weatherby. So number one is Kaida Carla for James Shea, two Jeep Reflection for Thomas Rogers, plainly dangerous Martin Lehman is three, John Spirit for Ryan Costa Lewis four, Escody for Martin Lehman is five, Day Mill for Craig Beckwith is six, Dobretz for Daniel French is seven, Lost Poet for Craig Beckwith also is eight, Viva Lorock for Kevin Meenahan is nine, Fathom five for Ryan Costa Lewis ten, Cashmere Coat for Paul Rhodes is eleven, Buffoos for Alex Cherry is twelve, and Deacon Blues for Derek Hinton makes up thirteen. Start has got him away. This three mile and a furlong event. Roland Merrick handicap chase. And Twenty-two fences to take. And they led over it by Lost Poet, the first of them. And he's got about a four length advantage from the rest. And uh, just uh, jostling for position, they go over a small ditch. And he's jumped it well, just the rear plainly dangerous, stepped over it a little bit. And, uh, drops back just a couple of lengths off the pack. Go over the third. We negotiates it well. Big nice jump there by the grey. Sort of mid pack. I think that's deep reflection. That might be Viva La Rock. We go over the fourth. I think it's Viva La Rock, but then he took that one pretty poorly. Shuffles back down towards the rear. So as they go past the winning post, it's Lost po Poet that leads us by about four to Kaida Carla. The outside of that is Ascoli in the orange silks. Wider still is Deep Reflection. Back up against the fence in the red silks is Dobretz. And we've got uh, Deacon Blues in the pink silks of Del Hinton. Followed through by Fathom Five and Buffoos up against the fence. And John Spirit. And towards the rear of Day Milk. Plainly dangerous Viva La Rock and Cashmere Coat out wide. And they swing. Slightly left handed. But up well over two miles to travel. And here's Lost Poet that still leads us. Approaching the next. One takes it well. There's a poor jump there by uh, Deep Reflection. Still plenty in them. They're all still standing. They go over a small ditch. The jump that particularly well was Escoli. Got over it fast and low. Much time spent in the air. But it is Lost Poet that leads them into the seventh. The plain one. Everybody gets over it well. And a big jump in the, the pack again by Viva La Rock. The next one a bit more steady. We're just over two miles. It's still Lost Pirate from Escoli. Kaida Carla. Only one, two, three. Dobretz in four. Small ditch. Dobretz goes out a bit of air. Drops back down again. But it is Lost Poet from Escoli. Kaida Carla. On through uh, by about three or four lengths behind from Dobretz, Deacon Blues, Viva La Lock, John Spirits, and Bafus. Out wide is Fathom Five. And we've got Plainly Dangerous. Up against the fence is Dane Mill in the blue silk white cap. Towards the rear. And the two at the end are Cashmere Coat and Deep Reflection at the moment. But we're still being led by Lost Poet. Happy bowling along. And this leads down to about three or four lengths now to Escoli and Kaida Castle. Carla, just a length or so back. Get to the tenth. Everybody's over it. Poor jump in the pack by Plainly Dangerous. A mile and a half still to travel. Last poet takes them over the eleventh. So we're halfway through the fences. Only eleven to take. I think it's still Lost Pirate that leads us. I'll take the twelfth well. So it's Lost Pirate from Ascoli, Kaida Carla, Dobretz, Viva La Rock. Oh, Indian file, these one, two, three, four, five. Dane Mill moving up a little bit better now. We go past the winning post for the last time. One more circuit to go, a mile and a quarter to travel. A further nine fences to take. Here we go at wonderful Weatherby. And it is Lost Pipe from Escoli, along with Dobretz and Kaida Kala. Further four lengths back to Viva La Rock and Dame Mill on his outside and the inside is Buffoos, Fathom Five wide. A length or so back by Deep Refraction and John Spirit. Well, Cashmere Coat. Dale's Deacon Blues. And one just at the rear is plainly dangerous. So, almost through two miles now. So get to the 14th. Lost Poets lead is uh, down to just a length and a half. Now we lost one there. Fathom 5's gone. Unlucky Brian. But it's Lost Poet that still leads. But just a length and a half now from Kaida Carlin. Dobrett's moving well on the outside. Jumps that well. And uh, gets within a length of Lost Poet. It's Kaida Carlin, Ascoli, and Viva the Rocks made up some good ground. Get to the 16th. 
and he'll step over that one. And it is Lost Poet and Dob Rex now. Lost Poet asking for a bit more from his uh, horse and uh, heading for home now of the bridle inside the six. Leads by a length and a half to Daniel French's Dob Brett, and a further four back to Kaida Carla Ascoli and Viva La Rock. They all haven't asked much now, but Lost Poet gets over the 18th, so five from home, then it's Lost Poet and Dob Brett. By about three to Ascoli, Kaida Carla, Viva La Rock sitting pretty deep, and Blue's making up a bit of ground, plainly dangerous, trying to get back into the race, Dane Mill. But it is Lost Poet with Dob Brett on his haunches as they come down to half a mile from home, and it's Lost Poet and Dob Brett by about three to Ascoli, Kaida Carla, and Viva La Rock, and then a further length back to Damien and Deacon Blues on the inside plainly dangerous trying to run on Bafoos it's going to be between these but up front is still Lost Poets gaining his advantage a little bit more by a length and a half with three furlongs to go Lost Poet from Dobretz three to jump and it's Lost Poet still here comes Dobretz to challenge now as they go over the 19th bit of a poor jump we lost one there Viva La Rock's gone unlucky but it is Lost Poet still hanging on to the lead inside the final quarter mile but Dobretz takes him on on over the 20th so with two to jump it's Dobretz leading by half a length from Lost Poet Kaida Carla trying to run him down Dane Mill still running on but it's Dob Brett that takes over the penultimate leads by a length and a half of the furlong left to run and one to jump it's Dob Brett with Daniel French by about three to four to Kaida Carla gets over it well but here comes Kaida and we lost another one there ascoli has gone but it's Dob Brett inside the final half of furlong Dob Brett by two lengths to Kaida Carla but Foos has run on really well to get third running on the outside is Dane Mill for fourth a good win there for Dob Brett's. We also lost John Spirit amongst all those. So I win if Daniel French takes the Woland Merrick handicap chase. Comfortably by about three lengths. He was the 11 to 4 early favourite from Kyla Carla in second. But who's run on well for third? Daniel got up for fourth. So well done, Daniel French, for that win. Second was Kyla Carla for James Shea, as I said. Bafoos for Alex Shea, ran on well for third. Dane Mill for Craig Beckwith got fourth. And Lost Poet for Craig Beckwith was fifth.